We begin tonight with those powerful words today from a president and from his predecessor. President Obama and President Bush, both men clearly moved as they paid their respects to the police officers killed in Dallas. First ladies Michelle Obama and Laura Bush on hand too. President Obama applauding the officers' bravery and telling this country we are not as divided as we seem. A haunting image of five seats in the front holding only folded American flags. And then the standing ovation for that police chief in Dallas. ABC's Jonathan Carl is there tonight. Two presidents and two first ladies joining a Dallas police community mourning the hate-filled murder of five of their own. Dallas, I'm here to say we must reject such despair. I'm here to insist that we are not as divided as we see. President Obama praising the courage of the men in blue. When the bullets started flying, the men and women of the Dallas police, they did not flinch. We mourn fewer people today because of your brave actions. Sentiments echoed by another president, now a resident of Dallas. We will not forget what they did for us. Your loss is unfair. We cannot explain it. We can stand beside you and share your grief. And a heartfelt standing ovation for Dallas Police Chief David Brown. <laughs> the man who has held this community together. He offered some much needed laughter to go with the tears, joking that when he really loved a girl, he'd recite some Stevie Wonder. So today, I'm gonna pull out some Stevie Wonder for these families. <laughs> so families, close your eyes and just imagine me back in 1974 with an afro and some bell bottoms and wide collar. Until the day that you are me and I am you. Now, ain't that loving you? Chief Brown, I'm so glad I met Michelle first because she loves Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Much of President Obama's speech was a tribute to the bravery of police officers. But on the flight to Dallas, he spoke to the families of Philando Castile and Alton Sterling, whose deaths at the hands of police officers have also shocked the nation. I see people who mourn for the five officers we lost, but also weep for the families of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile. In this audience, I see what's possible. I see what's possible when we recognize that we are one American family. And John Carl with us live tonight. John, the president in a very candid moment today saying his own words along the way have been inadequate in his words to stop the violence. You could hear the frustration in his voice, David. He said he has spoken simply at too many of these memorials and has seen the inadequacy of words to bring about change, including, David, the inadequacy of his own words. John, thank you.